well, back down to Worth with a bump then now for the Britannia Handicap, a Class 7 0 to 70. I think we've got to move the schedule around a bit. We can't have the Ascot Gold Cup starting day two again. That was an absolute thriller. This one, though, could be good as well for the lower grade trainers. At the top, we've got Anemone Gemma for Rod McClure, Orientalist Laertis for M. McMilk. Future Speed, Alex Cherry, Kingdom of Naples, Michael Scala, Nick Lup Dairy, M. McMilk, Totally Bonkers, Obi Wan, Colette's Poker, CDJ Liggett, The Baroness, Craig Beckwith, Log Gabin, Martin Cairns, Cutter for Craig Beckwith, Shaka Khan. Martin Liederman, Valentino for Michael Scarter and Speedy Sue for Ben Benici make up the field of 13. Over the straight trip this time and away they go then. One or two of them a little bit slow to go but I know this near side Nicola Dairy might be the early leader and now Valentino has gone on though. So Valentino is the early leader leading by a couple of lengths to Kingdom of Naples stable companion in second. Then comes Nicola Dairy and totally bonkers and with an enemy Gemma after that one and then Speedy Sue over on the far side of the track there. Also is Shaka Khan but down on this near side Valentino has got a three or four length lead from Cutter in second in the yellow jacket at the centre of the track is totally bonkers Kingdom of Naples the stable companion of the leader is next to that one on that one's inside is Anemone Gemma the three up the centre of the track are Log Cabin uh, Future Speed and Shaka Khan they've got work to do towards the back also Colette's Poke and Orientalist Leartis but they're past the fall in now and Valentino is in the lead from in second place Nick Dairy then totally bonkers Cutter's still there Kingdom of Naples is still there as well but it's Valentino that's got the lead then three furlongs to go Valentino leads by two. Now on this near side, Nick Lup there is going well in second. Coming through the pack there really well is Log Cabin and also widest of all of the track. Shaka Khan's trying to make a bit of ground as well. But it's Valentino in the lead past the two. Valentino leads by about two lengths then to Log Cabin. Nick Lup there totally bonkers. Shaka Khan widest on the track. Valentino beginning to tie up. Here comes Nick Lup there totally bonkers. Shaka Khan flying on the far outside. There's a foot on the go and it's Valentino who reasserts. Valentino still in clear. Shaka Khan strong and it closes between these two surely future speed is running on it's Valentino but Shaka Khan into the line and Shaka Khan Shaka Khan Shaka Khan takes it and Shaka Khan wins it and Valentino the long time leader couldn't quite hang on is that name after Valentino Rossi the motorbike man who had his last race today or yesterday whatever it was but Shaka Khan has taken it, so Shaka Khan wins it for Martin Lee and Valentino for Michael Scala second, Future Speed for Alex Cherry third, Log Cabin for Marty Cairns was fourth, and Colette Poker for CDJ Liggett was fifth.